Hello and welcome to the Sanjiao Teachings Podcast. This is episode three and my name is Benjamin. Today I'd like to talk about that thing that everybody goes through at some point feeling bad, that feeling of where everything just is not working. We feel awful. We feel depressed and we feel anxious and we feel sad and we just feel, we just feel down. Well, the reality is that whenever we feel down, it's a really good way for us to understand uh, more about the situation. It's, it's a good way for us to learn something new. What we have to learn to do is we have to learn to step back from the situation. Because what happens is we often make it very subjective. What that means is we make it about us. Well, of course it's about us because we are the ones feeling sad. Yes, I get that. But that's not quite what I'm getting at here. What we have to learn to do is we have to learn to look at what we are feeling and then try and disassociate yourself from that feeling. Look at it as if it's an object. Look at it, study it, understand it. Because what happens is we get so immersed in this feeling, in this emotion, that it's impossible for us to see anything else. Our emotions get the better of us. We feel rubbish to the point where everything is just dark and gray and miserable and we just can't get ourselves out of it. But what we have to learn to do is we have to learn to see that for everything that happens to us, there is a reason that it happens. Things don't just happen. We don't live in a society in a world of magic where things just magically appear. Things happen because of something. There is always a root cause for everything that we feel. Everything stems from somewhere else. We are just the ones that happen to experience it um, as part of a long ongoing journey of whatever this thing is. And it then finally erupts and we are the ones that feel the full force of what's going on. So everything has a root, everything has a cause, everything comes from somewhere. So you see now, this is what I mean by understanding to look at what we are feeling as an object. Because if we take things too personally, we can't see anything. So by taking a step back, by looking at it and going, right, well, why do I feel sad? Why do I feel rubbish? Why do I feel this? Why do I feel that? Now you are starting to step away from your own emotion attached to the thing that is happening. The thing that is happening is still happening. You do still feel a certain way. So this will not change that. But what it will do is it will give you a different perspective, a different insight into why you feel the way that you feel. And this is hugely beneficial for us moving forward. So we feel really upset today. Okay, well, a lot of people will just wallow and just continue to feel upset for for hours or even days or weeks sometimes. But they never ask themselves, well, why do I feel like that? Once you ask yourself why, now you have the ability to say to yourself, right, well, what other questions can I ask related to how I feel? Okay, so I feel like this. Well, I feel like this because of, of that. Oh, well, what is this? And why is this important to me? So what's happening now is you are now starting to look at the root cause, the root effect of something that has happened. You are now starting to objectify, which means you are now starting to look at it as an object rather than something that you are. Yes, you still feel it, but now you're starting to understand that, well, maybe these feelings are not the full picture. Maybe there's another way for me to be able to understand what's happening by stepping away from it. Let's just say that you are standing close to a wall. You know that on this wall is a big picture, but you're standing so close to it that the only thing you can see is a slight texture and the color gray. So if every time that you take one step back, you can see a bit more of the picture. 
Now you can see the picture has some circular elements to it and it has some darker gray. Oh, I can see there's a bit of white in there as well. And then you take another step and another step and the picture becomes clearer and clearer. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, it's a giant elephant that's been painted on the wall. But when you are so close to it, you can't see it. So by stepping away, you see the full picture. You see the real picture. So not being okay is actually a great way for us to understand and learn more about ourselves. It's a really good way for us to look at the way that we react, the way that we look at things, the way that we view the world and ask ourselves, well, maybe the problem is not the situation. Maybe the problem is the way that I am handling the situation because things happen. This is life and we cannot control what happens within existence. Things just are what they are. However, we are the ones that make something something. There is no such thing or uh, as good or bad or beautiful or ugly. There simply just is our perspective on the thing. So somebody's good is somebody's bad. Somebody's sweet is somebody's sour. Somebody's beautiful is somebody's ugly. So the way that we see the world is very subjective to our experience prior to this thing happening. So by learning to step away, by learning to see the big picture, by learning to understand what is really happening, we are then able to process the information and look at it in a way that is completely different to before. We now have a brand new image, a brand new perspective that we didn't have before. And now instead of having no options, you now have multiple options. No options means that I feel sad, that's it, there's nothing I can do about it. This is what you are saying to yourself. You are simply just wallowing in this negative mind state over and over again, and you're not allowing yourself any possibility to move on. But once you start realizing this situation, once you start seeing it for what it is, now you can say to yourself, all right, well, I feel like this. I've identified that this is my emotion. This is my feeling. And how and what and what has happened that has made me feel like this? Okay, well, has it been this? Has it been that? Was it something he said, she said? Was it an experience? Was it an expectation that I had that wasn't met? Where does it come from? You see, now all of a sudden, pathways are opening up. The more we explore, the more that we find. The more that we look, the more that we see. The more that we touch, the more we feel. So life is essentially about experiencing on all levels. It's experiencing in the outside world through the five senses. But it's also experiencing on the inside world, experiencing heart the love, compassion, connection to others, acceptance. And then there's also the third part, which is understanding our place within existence. And all of these experiences only happen once we disassociate ourselves from what has happened. And we are able to step back and ask ourselves, well, who's controlling this situation? Is it my emotions? Am I being led 100% solely? by how I'm feeling? Or am I able to disassociate myself from my emotions, from my feelings, and see things for what they really are? This is this, that is that. However, your emotions change what it is to become something else. So by removing your emotions from a certain situation, you are able to see the facts. You are able to see what they call the truth. This is what has happened. It's neither this nor that. It just is. Your perspective is what makes it what it is. Nothing else. So feeling bad is okay. Feeling sad is okay. If we can learn to step back and understand what it is, that we can learn to understand why I feel like this. So you see, a mistake is not a mistake if you learn from it. A bad thing is not necessarily a bad thing if we can understand the thing. We don't need to make it a good thing. 
We just need to make it a neutral thing. We need to have no attachment to that experience. And this is the act of letting go. And letting go, well, that simply happens by us understanding that it is what it is. Your ego, your desires are the ones that create the certain thing that you've experienced. So feeling sad, feeling low, feeling blue, feeling a bit upset, feeling depressed and anxious, these things are okay. But we need to understand that these are simply just emotional states that come and go, it's not who we are. We need to learn to look at these states and dig deep and find out, well, where does this come from? What is the trigger point? What is the root cause of this emotional mindset? And once we can do that, we now have a clearer picture and a clearer of an understanding of how to move forward. So thank you so much for listening. And um, yeah, please do feel free to follow me on all my socials, simply the Sanjiao Teachings. And uh, there are plenty of more podcasts coming up and also daily teaching videos. So thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you on the next episode.